So, welcome to our first episode of Max Checks It Out. What is the topic today? Uh, the extruder stopped. Something like this can happen every day. But first rule is keep cool. Don't try to start the extruder over and over again. Most probably, this action will make it even worse. The first step is go to the control panel and check the alarm list. The alarm list will show you why the extruder stopped. Was it the melt pressure sensor, the overload, the underload? There are many reasons which can be possible, but it will show you the direction where you have to search for the problem. What about the safety coupling? Did it release? In this case, you have to take even more attention during the first startup of the extruder. And of course, you have to relock the safety coupling again before you can rotate the screw. These were just some examples, but to generalize everything, that means you have to find and solve the problem first before you can start the extruder again. If the extruder is ready again, that means you removed all the material from the inlet of the barrel or the temperature of the barrel are on process temperature, then you can start the extruder slowly. It is ideal to start by hand, but if it's not possible, of course you can use the motor slowly and of course without feeding material. To summarize everything, there are five important steps. First step is keep cool. Second step, check the control panel. Third step, if the safety coupling release, you have to relock it again. Fourth step is, in general, you have to find the problem and solve it. Last point is, start extruder slowly and go step by step till you reach the normal process condition. That was the first episode of Max Checks It Out. I hope you like it. And we are, of course, open for your comments. So, see you next time. Your live service team.